Okay, these are the lights with their kind of a light strip. And I don't know how long they are. Maybe, maybe, maybe three feet long or so. Three and a half, four. Um, so they're real easy to handle. You slide it back and pop it up. It's from Shark Tank, I think. These are three batteries that actually came with it. Okay, so I had the battery had popped out, but when you do that, three AA batteries, and you get a really nice LED strip. And I'm gonna go put it in our storm shelter. So we just had this tornado shelter installed. It's an underground shelter. And it's very dark in there. Here in my shelter, not light enough. So I was thinking of. I don't want to put it up here because. All right, let's take a look around first. All right, so we'll take a look around. Very small space. Not de not designed to stay in here for a long time. So I'm thinking right now. This is the ceiling. But I didn't want rechargeables. Because if I had a rechargeable light or a remote control, I didn't want to lose a remote control. And I didn't want a rechargeable. So it comes with these already on here. Probably should clean the surface first. Probably just made it worse. I shouldn't clean the surface first. I'm not going to worry about it. Go like that. I'll go ahead and take some of this tape off too. There we go. See, so the only thing I don't know is can this, could these lights twist or turn, go up or something. Can they change direction? Oh man, it's so easy. Easy, easy. So, you know, when it's dark, when you're back here and you get this, a lot more comfortable. I mean, a lot more comfortable. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. And from here, I can take the batteries out. Just like that, change the batteries. All right, now let's do the other one. Where should I put it? All right, so this stuff is not meant to twist, as I found out. I made it twist anyway, but it's not made to twist. So what we got now is a downward light. See how much light this produces? I should come in here at night and do this again. This is one light, you know. What if we do this one here? Plenty of light down here. So we can wait out a tornado. Pretty cool. Okay, we're going to simulate an emergency. We've got to come over here in the storm shelter that I told you about before, and there it is. Okay, I went ahead and put a puck light over here so it might come on, it's motion sensored puck light. There we go, link in the description. Down here, I come in the storm shelter. Pitch black, no powers on, okay? So let's just pretend like, pretend like I have no power. So I've got that puck light that shows just enough to get in here. I'm going down. I'm going to turn my flashlight on. We're going to go down here. Okay. Scenario is tornadoes coming, right? Okay, so we're sitting in here with our flashlight. Let's turn it off. Uh-oh. There's no light, but wait, there is. Okay, so that's just one light, okay? One light. Now let's do the top one. The uh, glue on the 
backside seems to have been sticking pretty well. I was thinking I was gonna to have to tape over that, but all right, so this is just one of these lights. Then we turn this other one off. Now, remember, it's nighttime, pitch black. So I've got, I've got some time with three batteries here. I'm gonna have more batteries in this, of course, in this area, but let's turn the other one on. Okay, so now I've got double the time, double the lights, double the time. Wait out the tornado, wait out the storm. You can see just how bright it is down there, right? I mean, it is totally dark in the room. Power's out, but that's what you'd see down there.